made of something Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jake Cameo here, and welcome back to, I believe, episode 3 of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, last episode, we went through some trials and tribulations, as always, and uh, we actually made it all the way to Pewter City. So today, in this episode, we're going to um, explore Pewter City a little bit and try to take on the gym. But before we can do all of that, let's go ahead and go over our team here. As you've probably seen on the screen already, we have Tricky, our Duskull ghost type, of course, with Hypercutter, prevents attack reduction, Earthquake, Facade, Growth, and Psych-Up are her moves. Not too great, not anything to stab or anything like that, but Earthquake is a 100 base attack, so it does do herself uh, some good with her 16 attack over her 10 special attack. So. And then moving on to who is becoming our MVP already, Sherman, our level 13 Sand Slash, ground type, with Stinch helps repel wild Pokemon, not the greatest ability, but, you know, he's got an amazing attack stat of 29, 29 attack stat and 26 speed, with 41 defense, he is a monster, monster this early in the game. He is rocking Stab, Earthquake, Dizzy Punch, Double Slap, and Imprison. So that is our team at the moment. That is who we're going to rock out with, and let's go ahead and explore Pewter City. So let's go ahead and see what's in this house. It's an old man! An old man and his grandson! Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught to them by people. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch as Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has a status problem. Sleep, poison, burn, paralysis, those are all effective. But catch Pokemon, but catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. That may have been a little girl looking at the sprite for a second time. That may have been a little girl. Oh well. Hey, let's go ahead and see if we can get any items. We can! We can get a single potion. Let's do it. Go ahead and save our money a little bit. We might save our money and come back after fighting uh, one or two of the people in the gym. Uh, I can't go that way. He's just going to tell us about flowers, I'm pretty sure. What's in this house? <gasps> a Nidoran! Nidoran, sit! Bo Bo! Bo Bo! Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may in bleh, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. Which is exactly what we're about to try to go do. But first, let's see what's up this way. I'm pretty sure it's just a tree. It is just a tree. All right. So that basically leaves the gym. But let's go ahead and check this out first, just in case. 50 bucks for a ticket. I don't think there's anything in here, but just in case, I probably just wasted 50 bucks to be very very honest with you guys. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Pudding! <laughs> I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Yeah, a Pikachu soon. I promise. This month, we're running a space exhibit. Very cool. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. 
July 20, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color television just so I could watch the news. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So we actually did waste 50 bucks. Like I thought we would. But, oh well. July 20th. Is there anything up here? No? Nothing up here? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay. That was utterly pointless. Okay. So now let's check out the gym. Let's go ahead and go in here and check out the gym. And yeah, I really want to start off with Sherman. Oh man, there's only one trainer in here. Uh, we'll start off with Duskull first. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Camper Leo would like to battle. Yo, Leo, are your shorts short enough, my dude? Eh. Ingrain. Okay, okay. I mean, this is not stab, but it is super effective, I'm pretty sure. Or at least, you know, mildly effective because of this uh, steel typing. Needle arm. Level 10! Level 10, my dude! Tricky flinched. Whoa. Okay, let's go over what some of these moves actually do. Okay, growth, special attack stat, doesn't help. Any stat change made by the foe. So none of these help us. But needle arm would absolutely destroy uh, Sherman. We keep getting flinched. This is not good. This is not good. It's not good, not good, not good. Come on, let's get that crit, baby. Let's get that crit, Tricky. All it knows is needle arm, though. But it keeps flinching. I'm gonna do one more earthquake. We're just gonna flinch. It's not gonna matter. Okay, if we can just get past the flinching, we'll be good. Like, seriously, if we can just stop flinching. Please don't flinch. I'd say two more if we can just not flinch. Just don't flinch, Tricky. Ah, come on, Tricky. Come on, girl. Come on. And we've already used our two potions. Holy cow. I highly underestimated the difficulty of a randomized Nuzlocke. And then we just don't needle on, don't needle on, don't, or don't, don't flinch, don't flinch. Okay, okay. One HP! Are you kidding me?
Thank you, Tricky. Thank you, girl. My goodness. Roselia. Let's change Pokemon just because Stab Earthquake will probably knock this thing out. And I think we're going to be faster. I think. I'm not positive. Oh yeah, we're faster. This should kill. This should kill. Boom. There we go. Hi, vey. Light years isn't time, it's measure. It measures distance. So we're... So we're super far away from Brock? I didn't, that didn't make sense, kid. You tried to save it, you tried to save it. Do do do, fast forward a little bit to the Pokemon Center. potion. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You know, is there anyone else I can battle right now? There's not. Okay, so I can grind up for a little bit. I can grind up, like speed grind up for a bit. Which I think is the best option. Because he was level 10. He, that was just the grunt of the gym. But I'm pretty sure at like level 15 or 16, like our Pokemon stop listening to us if we don't have the first badge. Pretty sure. Not positive. Okay, go tricky. But then again, that doesn't make a lot of sense for, like, because I'm thinking, for some reason, I'm, I'm feeling like Brock will be, like, level 15, 16. But that doesn't make sense if that's when our Pokemon would lose, uh, or stop paying attention to us. Oh, snap, it doesn't affect Articuno. I forgot. I forgot. Let's just run. Let's just run. Not even gonna. Not even gonna. Geo dude. Geo dude. That was a rare encounter. Geo dude. Boom. Oh, he barely, he gave us like no experience though. Can we get another Latias, please? Thank you! I feel like Latias is like the Weedle encounters, and uh, Articuno is kind of like the, the Caterpie encounters, and the uh, Geodude is probably like the Pikachu encounters. for a second. Alrighty, alrighty. So I'm pretty sure both of our Pokemon are level 14 now. Which is good. It's good. 
Not great, but it's good. Yeah, they're both level 14. Okay. I'm not gonna waste any of you guys' time. I'm just gonna go up here, heal up, and hope and pray we can take down whatever Brock throws at us. I really wish we had the running shoes though. Which is why I'm speeding up a lot. I don't know if you guys can tell by the music or not, but I'm speeding up a lot, but mostly on just the walking parts. Walking or training up parts. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Okay. I think we should leave with Sherman. I do. I, I, I don't want to because what if we were into a water type, but I think we should leave with Sherman. He's our MVP right now. He's doing the most work for sure. He has stab moves. Let's do this. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. True grit determination, not true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. We'll see about that. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing you knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Oh man. I, I seriously hope you have all rock type. Just please have all rock type. Matang. Okay. Okay. You do have level 12s. Matang is out of here. Sherman putting in the work. Oh my gosh, I love Sherman so much. And Delibird. Delibird is a flying type. Sherman is so powerful. Sherman is so powerful right now. Dizzy Punch. Half its HP. And it missed. Sherman! Oh my god. Sherman, you absolute legend. Oh my goodness. Sherman is our MVP for sure. I took you for granted. And so, I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Ah oh, man. I was so nervous. Like, I have chills. I was so nervous. But Sherman, Sherman the legend pulled us through. Ah. Oh. It also enables you to use the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Oh. Wait, take this with you. See, it's in 39. Anyway, seems Mock Punch. Mock Punch. Does it seriously contain Mock Punch? Oh, I click cancel. Mock Punch. One time use, but Mock Punch. Oh my god. Sherman. My dude. Man, forget Double Slap, man. Mock Punch. We have priority! Oh my goodness! This is so... It, Sherman is the absolute best. Like, don't get me wrong. I love... I love Tricky. I love Tricky. She's... She's amazing in her own right. But Sherman... Oh my goodness. Sherman is everything I needed in this playthrough. If we lose Sherman, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Alright, so let's push on forward a little bit more. Actually, let's see if we can buy any more potions, because I know we're going to need them. I know we're going to need them. Oh, he gave us so much money. 
we could buy four potions. We have one in bag. But we also need Pokeballs. We'll buy one potion. I know I'm going to regret this, but we need to get Pokeballs. Because we need a new encounter. We need a new Pokemon, not just a new encounter, we need a new Pokemon. And that's where... Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, Jake! I'm glad I caught you. Caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Finally, the running shoes. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. I must be going back to the lab. Bye bye There's a letter attached. Dear Jake, here's a pair of running shoes from my for my beloved trainer. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Here we go, you guys ready? Route three. Running shoes! Got them running shoes! Gonna oh, never mind. I was singing a song, so excuse you. Excuse me? You looked at me, didn't you? I was literally looking forward. Looking right ahead. Didn't even bat an eye at you, chick. Did not even notice you were there. I was singing about my running shoes. Last Janice, with your Matang, was going down to Shaman. Shaman is going to annihilate you. He's Shamanator. He's Shamanator. Bruh. Blissy, bring it. Give us that sweet experience. Oh. Bye bye. 490 experience. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Is there anything down here? Nothing down here. Are we positive there's nothing down here? There's nothing down here. Okay. Stop going up. My controller likes to go up a lot. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Hey, how you doing, buddy? It's been a little while. Colton sent out Zatu. Okay. Dizzy punch. Reflect. Raise its defenses. Dizzy punch. Dizzy punch. Merip. Merip, you're going down. I am sorry for you. The Shamanator, he takes no prisoner. The Shamanator takes no prisoners. Bruh. I just, I just have to click Earthquake. That's it. That's all I gotta do. I'm trying to learn Rock Blast. Oh, I'm very tempted actually. Two to five rocks. I'm very tempted. Because that could help us out with the flying types, for sure. I'm probably going to regret this, but Rock Blast kind of seems really good at the moment. Shaman, use Rock Blast. Use your Rock Blaster. I think we can survive an executor. I mean, if we dizzy punch, it might do a good amount. Yeah, I knew he was pretty bulky, though. Oh. Okay, that does that is a lot. That does a lot. How much does this do to you? Please kill. It does not. It does not kill. Not very effective. Stockpile. Okay. Oh, and the Reflect wore off, though, so this should do more damage now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot the Reflect was up, was, was what the deal was. There we go. You beat me again! Yo, we have the Shermanator. The Shermanator takes no prisoners. A 
is so nice having the running shoes now. So nice. Fast forward, right? So nice having the running shoes. Hi, I like shorts. Hi, I'm Paul. They're definitely comfy and easy to wear. Youngster Bin. Bin Tin. Kind of big on. The Shamanator will destroy you. Earthquake. You stood no chance against the Shamanator. Snorlax. Let's see how much Mach Punch will do against the Snorlax. I don't think it'll do too much. Almost half, though. Which is nice. And that doesn't do too much, so I think we can just mock punch and save our earthquakes. Bruh. If that was a crit, that would have just knocked him out. The Shamanator. The Shamanator taking down the finest. Bring on the challenges. The Shamanator will destroy them all. I don't believe it! So many trainers here though. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. Okay. This Shamanator will destroy your face. Greg. Gregory. Earthquake. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yo, Sherman is like a godsend. No, man, we got Rock Blast. Why would we change out on a Yanma? This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. This is the best we've done in a playthrough in playthrough playthrough in a while, to be honest. Because Naturia blew us back. And then my capture card messed up, so we never got to finish. Sun and Moon, which sucks. But Sherman, man, Sherman is making it all worthwhile. Bye bye. It's so nice of you to come. Now get the out. <laughs> Sherman reached level 19. We'll, we'll swap for a Zubat. We'll swap for a Zubat. Let Tricky get some experience. Yo, does that poison me? I mean, granted, it's not that big of a deal, but still. And it does. I think he has the chance to poison, though, which sucks. It could have tickled hit. Oh, we got poison. So, Facade did that much more. Very nice. Okay, how much HP do you have? 31. I feel like we can make it. Yeah, we can definitely make it. Boom, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty close to the time. So, I think we'll wrap this episode up here. Um, we'll pick up the next episode by taking on the rest of the trainers on that route. Um, possibly getting a new encounter as well, so look forward to that. Um, and us probably messing that encounter up, but, you know, anyway. 
If you like this episode, definitely hit that like button down below. If you're part of the Cameo Core, hit that like button down below. Show me some love. If you're not a part of the Cameo Core, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you're automatically a part of the Cameo Core. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Have a great day. Peace out.